music box. One night, Anthony decides to work late. He wipes the music box with wood oil and talks to it as if it was a plant or human. He takes good care of it with pride and joy. The following day on the desert, Ivan visits his friend Anthony, who owns a store named Anthony's Old Time Shop. In the store he hears music and asks his friend Anthony, where is that beautiful music coming from? And his friend shows him the music box. The old music box has two buttons, one to record and one to play, and it works well. Coincidentally, Marcy goes in and picks up her watch that needs a battery and was surprised to see Ivan. Ivan and Marcy are both excited for a good old friends and family road trip. All friends including Lily at four, Olivia at four, their parents, Lily's grandfather and grandmother Marcy were on limo van, which had collided with a truck due to a reckless drunk driver. Everybody was pronounced dead at the scene except for Lily, Marcy and Olivia. Childhood friends Lily and Olivia became orphans at the age of four and were raised by her grandmother, while Olivia was raised by her rich aunt. On a quiet night in a desert, you could only hear the sound of crickets. A female writer is working on her story when the doorbell rings which makes her heart beat fast as she walks towards the door, seeing a package. Unwrapping the package, there is a handwritten note in black ink on old paper that reads, Dearest Lily, please accept this music box that I gave to your grandmother Marcy that she returned. I want you to have this. Nobody knows about the history of this music box except Gregory, my grandson who you will meet someday, somewhere. I was deeply in love with your grandmother. I wish she had accepted me into her life. Love, Ivan. The next day, Lily calls Olivia about the package. Olivia remembers Lily's story of her grandmother Marcy receiving a music box from a very rich man, a producer filmmaker. Olivia is also puzzled and wants to know who delivered the package and why. Unfortunately, Olivia had to get off the phone, for she was busy preparing for her stage performance for the evening. While Lily goes through all the family photographs, she sees her grandmother's photo with a man and a little boy, with a note at the back. The note reads, Love, Ivan de Castro. He is holding a music box. The following day, Lily goes jogging. She sees a man from her distance, sitting on the wooden bench, who looks exactly like the man on the photo album, holding a music box, the exact same type of music box that was delivered to her doorstep. She turns around, but the man is not there anymore. Suddenly, she bumps into a stranger, who is also jogging. The man shows concern for Lily, and thankfully she is okay. The man introduces himself as Tyler, and asks for her name, to which she responds hesitantly. Her face turns red. Tyler's breath smells of alcohol 
as she stares at him. And Lily goes back running and plans to go back home immediately. Tyler secretly follows her, as he usually does to break in homes to steal. Lily arrives home and finds a note on her doorstep. From a distance, Tyler takes a photograph of her address and leaves the property. Lily goes inside her house and reads the note, but warns her about her safety and to keep the music box in the safest of places. At the same time, Gregory also sees a note on his coffee table that reads, Gregory, there is a tape that is in the safe deposit box. Watch it. Love, Grandpa Ivan. Gregory did not watch the tape until after he met, because he had a meeting with George Luke at a restaurant. The following day, Gregory meets with George Luke at a fine Italian restaurant. The same restaurant, coincidentally, where Lily and Olivia also decided to eat. George asks Gregory his past relationship with Cynthia. Gregory tells George that his girlfriend plans to come back to live with him. George asks Gregory if he still loves her. Gregory realizes that he and Cynthia are not compatible. George wishes Gregory all the best. Congratulating Gregory, both men shake hands for coming up with an agreement. Lily and Olivia leave their table and pass by the table where Gregory and George are sitting. Lily and George recognize each other. Lily recognizes him and was surprised and glad to see him again. Lily and Olivia are introduced to George. Everyone is pleased to meet and see each other, Gregory giving his telephone number to Lily. From the restaurant, Lily drives Olivia home. Lily finally arrives home and she starts working on her script. The clock reads 10 p.m. She looks out of the window and notices a red car approaching, but it stops and parks from a distance. She is beginning to feel strange as she sees the man get out of his car and open the trunk. The man grabs a rope and long metal. She immediately turns off all the lights and continues to look at the man, deciding to call Gregory's number. Gregory answers. He is glad to hear from her, but Gregory can sense that Lily sounds that she is in danger. Gregory rushes to go to his car and drives to Lily's house without any hesitation. Lily calls 911. The attacker walks towards Lily's house, goes to the back door, breaks the glass and is able to unlock the French door and get in. Lily is hiding. Tyler is already in the house. He enters the house, manages to switch on the lights and starts turning the house upside down, desperately looking for the music box which is hidden up in the ceiling. Lily is hiding behind the curtain in the receiving room, feeling nervous. When Tyler goes into the bedroom, Lily tries to escape and run to the door, but Tyler is fast enough to grab her. He is holding a knife as he ties her arms and shoulder with a rope, 
covering her mouth with duct tape. Lily's struggles continue for 30 minutes as Tyler begins to lose his patience for not finding the music box. Tyler hugs Lily from the back. Lily fights back, grabs her pepper spray from her pocket and kicks Tyler in the groin and legs that hurt. Tyler so bad, even he has to go down the ground. Lily is unable to loosen her bonds, but Tyler gets up and holds Lily, threatening to kill her. But Lily is so alert that she continues to fight back. Finally, Gregory arrives, throwing punches at Tyler. Both men are fighting intensely. Tyler nearly kills Gregory with his knife, but Lily grabs her baseball bat and hits him. The sirens of the police cars heard loud and clear. Tyler starts to panic, and the policeman, along with his partner, a policewoman, enter the house and point the gun at Tyler. 